Color correcting photos can be extremely difficult, especially if you don't have a consistent white point in your photo to use. When you're working with portraits, it can become even more difficult because you're trying to color correct an image with skin tone in it, and that can get tricky. Here inside Perfect Portrait, on the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see the color correction pane. This color corrects your image based on skin tone instead of white point. It's automatically adjusted when you bring a photo into portrait, but you'll notice the amount slider at the top of the pane is set to zero, meaning it's not turned on until you move that amount slider over to the right. There are two other sliders, warmth and color shift, that make color changes. The warmth slider moves between cooler and warmer tones, and the color shift slider moves between more magenta or more green tones. Down at the bottom, there's also an ethnicity drop-down menu, and when I click to open this up, you can make adjustments depending on the skin tone of the subject that you're working with. We'll go ahead and leave it at white. Now let's take the amount slider at the top of the pane and move that over to the right. As I do so, you'll see that some of the greener tones in this image start to correct themselves. Because this was shot outside next to a lot of greenery, the subjects reflected that green and it appeared a little as though they had a green undertone. Using the warmth and color shift sliders, the program has automatically started to counteract that. If you don't completely like how the amount slider is adjusting the color correction, you can manually do that by taking the warmth slider and moving it to the left to make your image a little cooler, to the right to make it a little bit warmer, or the color shift slider, you can move it to the left to make it a little bit more magenta, or to the right to make it a little bit more green. I'm going to go ahead and drop these back around where the original points were. If you decide after adjusting the color correction pane that you don't want to use it, you can go down to the bottom right hand corner and click the reset button. It'll turn that amount slider back to zero and you can start again from scratch or you can move on to the eyes and mouth pane below.